This horrifying tale is brought to you by the Sussbox. Drop us a like and subscribe for more dark tales. Tree climbing had always been one of my favorite things to do when I was little. It didn't matter how tall they were. As long as they were trees, I could climb them. My personal record for reaching the top of a tree was 60 seconds, which probably isn't that impressive. But for me at the time, I was proud of that. I lived with my grandma back then, and I'd always climb this one tree in our front yard, then swing on it for hours. But one nightmarish incident made me stay away from trees from that point on. It started out like any other day. I went out to the front yard after breakfast, ready to do some climbing as usual. I kicked off my shoes and took off my socks, since I was more adept at climbing while barefoot. Then I made my way up the tree trunk and grabbed onto the lowest branch I could. Closing my eyes, I decided to just dangle there in the air, enjoying the wind brushing against my face. After five minutes, I heard someone giggling below me. I looked down and, to my surprise, I saw an old woman with pale skin, dressed in a black gown, sitting at the base of the tree. At least, she looked like a woman. She was giggling while covering her face with her hands, like she was playing peekaboo or something. Alarm bells should have been going off in my head right about now. But I was a very naive eight-year-old, so I didn't think she was dangerous. Instead of calling for my grandma, I asked her, What's so funny? While casually dangling from the branch above her. The woman looked up at me with her bloodshot eyes and smiled, like she was happy I started talking to her. Then her smile grew wider, revealing her razor-sharp teeth. What's funny, my dear? is that in the next few seconds, I'm gonna snatch you right out of that tree like a juicy, low-hanging fruit. And then I'm gonna gobble you up from head to toe. <laughs> she said with a soft giggle. My face went pale after hearing those words and seeing the woman's monstrous teeth. I was so scared that I just froze up, clinging to the branch a little tighter while my bare feet dangled above her head. Whoever this woman was, she clearly wasn't human. I snapped out of my daze when she stood up and began reaching for my legs with her inhumanly long arms. I quickly brought my legs up and over the branch, then started climbing for my life. The woman let out a sadistic cackle as she started climbing after me. Now, I was pretty confident in my climbing ability since I had two major advantages over her. I was smaller, and I had bare feet. Also, you'd think an old woman would have trouble climbing a tree at her age. But, surprisingly, she was on my heels within seconds. And I mean, she was literally snapping her teeth at my heels while I climbed, like some kind of animal. It took every ounce of concentration I had not to stumble and fall into her clutches. As I continued to climb, She'd say things like, I'm gonna get ya. And, You better climb faster, sweetie. Just to scare me and make me lose my footing. But I just tuned out her words and focused on the climb. All I could hear were the soles of my bare feet slapping one branch after another as I moved with a sense of life-threatening urgency. But in spite of my efforts, I'm still just a kid. So it didn't take long before I made my first mistake. While climbing, my foot slipped off a branch due to my state of panic and not getting a proper foothold on the tree. I quickly grabbed under the trunk with both hands, then frantically moved my foot around, searching for a groove that my toes could rest on to regain my footing. But there wasn't one. I was stuck. And in that moment, the woman didn't hesitate to try and bite my foot while it dangled in the air above her head. But thankfully, my fear kept me going and I managed to pull my foot back up in time. So close! Almost had you there! She'd laugh, enjoying the chase. After making it halfway up the tree, the woman suddenly got quiet. So I looked down to see if she was still there, but she was gone. 
not a single trace was left of her. For a moment, I began to wonder if I'd imagined her. Suddenly, two large hands grabbed both my ankles, pulling my feet out from under me and causing me to fall on my back. Before I knew it, I was hoisted into the air, dangling upside down by my feet. I frantically looked up to see the creature's horrifying face smiling down at me. I don't know how it reached the top before I did. I didn't even see it pass me. This thing's movements defied logic. Told you I'd snatch you up, it said while licking its teeth. Now to enjoy my prize. The creature then opened its mouth inhumanly wide, revealing hundreds of sharp teeth. It then slowly brought my feet up to its open maw, ready to devour me. I screamed at the top of my lungs as I kicked my legs frantically, trying to free myself, but to no avail. I was only saved when my grandma came outside after I screamed. The creature quickly dropped me before disappearing without a trace, almost as if it never existed. I got out of that tree so fast and ran straight into my grandmother's arms, sobbing uncontrollably. I tried to explain to her what I'd seen, but she didn't believe me. Years have passed since then, but I'll never forget that thing's face for as long as I live. We hope you enjoyed today's story. Drop us a like and subscribe to be in touch. Meanwhile, check out our other videos.